All right, so apparently you guys want to know how to do the paper effect digitally. All right, I got you. To create these effects digitally, you obviously have to have paper textures. Over the years, I've used multiple paper textures, and there's a lot of good ones out there, but I was just never able to find the look that I wanted. So I created my own. Using these textures, you're able to eliminate all the time spent printing, cutting, drawing, and all of that. You're able to use this in all softwares. You don't have to switch between your video software and Photoshop. This is all drag and drop. They're already animated for you. You don't have to go frame by frame animating the paper textures. It's all done for you. And as a fellow creative, I know that we're super undervalued. We don't get paid as much as we should. So one of the key things that I wanted to do was make this pack affordable for you guys. And at the end of the day, I just wanted to help you guys out and offer you guys value. And I just wanted to give you guys all the tools and knowledge to create this mixed media work because I know that it's kept secret a lot of times. People don't like to share this stuff, but I want to get it to you guys to just help you guys propel you and make the best work possible. I'll stop talking and we'll get into all the uses of this texture pack. All right, so once you have your clip in Premiere and you also have your textures imported, I'm gonna first show you what some of the cutouts look like. So this one's a square cutout here. There's a bunch of other textures, but this is the one I'm gonna show first. And so I'm gonna flip this over really quick. And so it's highlighting. Usually the squares are used for highlighting or just making something more apparent. Since his head's moving over, I'm going to use this one. So once you drag and drop, this is what you're going to get. There's multiple different ways of doing this. Um, what you can do is go to Opacity and go over to Screen. This is what it kind of looks like with Screen. You can play around with these. I like Screen and Color Dodge personally. Another way of doing this is just nesting these two clips, going up to Color, and you could tweak the colors here. And so you can just play around with them to till you get a look that you kind of like. So just something like this. By doing it this way, it's a little more apparent. So we're just going to go back. And we are going to use the screen one. So once you have it like this, what we need to do now um, is since this clip is 24 frames per second, every frame the clip is moving, we want to make it so every two frames it's going to move. There's different ways of doing this. The easiest way is if you have Sapphire plugins, um, you just drag and drop here, the freeze frame effect, and you can go and change this to two. This isn't required. Um, this is just the easiest way to do this. If you don't have Sapphire plugins, it's a little tedious is you start at the front of your clip and you move two frames, two frames, and you just make cuts every two frames. Then what you're gonna wanna do is go to the clip, right click and click add frame hold and do this for every clip. Obviously if you have Sapphire plugins, doing that way is much easier than this, but it can be done either way. And so you kinda get that effect. But it's simply drag and drop Tweak the colors a little bit if you want, and just applying that, um, the freeze frame effect or adding the frame holds, and you can literally make textured looks within seconds. So now I'm gonna show you guys another texture here. The last one we used just a cutout. This one is scratches and crumpled paper. So we're just gonna simply drag and drop it. Um, we are gonna go to effects control, and we are going to click screen. And literally that already looks really good. So what we can do a little more, same thing, is just click on our clip, go to a freeze frame, drop it onto our clip, and change it to two. And you already have an effect that looks like you took hours and just a bunch of time just printing, scratching, and all that just made within a couple seconds. I showed you some of the textures that are cutouts. I also showed you the ones with scratches and crumpled paper. Um, in the pack, there is also brush strokes. So for this one, it's brush strokes and cuts on it, scratches. So 
we are going to just show you what that looks like. We're going to go screen again and play that through. And literally within seconds, you already have something that looks like you printed it out. So what you can do once again is go to freeze frame, drag and drop that, go to your freeze frames and click two. And there's your paper effect within seconds rather than printing. For this last one, we're going to show you our last kind of texture style we have. There's also rips. So for this one, I'm going to drag and drop once again. We're going to go to effects and click screen. So this is what it kind of looks like. This one's a little more harsh um, and apparent with the paper textures. We're going to go to effects, freeze frame, and set it to two as well. And you already have a pretty good look here. Um, what I'm going to do for this one is just change a little bit of the colors around. And these are also, you can just do whatever colors you kind of want. Um, just whatever looks good to you. And so we have an effect just like this. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you haven't already, go check out the pack at creativeflowmarket.com. If you do end up supporting me, I really appreciate it and would love to know your feedback. So if you want to shoot me a DM on Instagram at creativeflow.mp4 or just comment down below what you would like to see next in any kind of texture packs, tutorials, or just what I can do better for the next one or improve on. So I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you for everything and take care.